It is with heavy hearts and sad souls that we bring you the heartbreaking news of Coco Lee's passing away, an incident that has left an irreplaceable void in our hearts. Known all around the world for being the protagonist's voice in Mulan, Coco Lee was an extraordinary singer, born in Hong Kong in 1975 and was the youngest of three children of a Hong Kong Cantonese mother and Malaysian father. Winning the Best New Artist Award in Taiwan when I first came out in 1994. So that's my number one. Uh, second one is performing on the Oscars. Coco's singing career spans over three decades as a pop singer in Asia. She released albums in both Cantonese and English. Voicing the female warrior Mulan in the Mandarin language version of Disney's Mulan was one of her most notable performances. She also sang Reflection, the emotional ballad from the film soundtrack. Coco Lee also made history when she performed her song at the Oscars in 2001. She took the stage to sing A Love Before Time, which was nominated for Best Original Song. And let me tell you, it was a performance that will be remembered for years to come. Coco Lee had always been a huge sensation in China and Taiwan, especially in the late 1990s and early 2000s. But her Oscar performance made her popular all around the globe. Even after all that fame and success and all that love, Coco Lee housed some inner demons and battling them did not come easy. On a sad Wednesday evening, the 48-year-old singer tried to take her own life, but even death didn't come easy to her. Her failed put her in a coma and she was taken to hospital where she stayed for three days before finally losing the battle. Oh, how we wish you were still here, Coco. A stage presence like no other. An incomparable voice. Talent like her is so rare to come by. Lee's father passed away before she was born. By the age of nine, her mother had moved Lee and her sisters to the United States to San Francisco. After graduating high school in 1992, she was offered a recording contract in Hong Kong with Capital Artists. I'm enjoying every moment because this is my first time in the Oscar. I want to have a lot of fun. Eventually leading her to depart from her studies and her sisters to focus on her music career. In 2011, Lee married Bruce Rockowitz, a Canadian businessman who's the former CEO of the Hong Kong supply chain, Lee and Fung. He survives her as do her sisters and two stepdaughters. Her sisters took to Instagram to announce the news of her passing away. In a very heartfelt message, they shared that Coco had been suffering from depression for a few years, but her condition deteriorated drastically over the last few months. I guess you never know what someone is really going through. Their struggles often remain shrouded in a cloak of secrecy, concealed from prying eyes. They could put on the biggest smile for the world, a facade of unwavering cheerfulness, while they suffer in pain and turmoil. A video she shared just a few days before her death has evoked an overwhelming surge of sad emotions within her devoted fan base. As they witnessed her captivating presence on the screen, their hearts became burdened with a feeling of immense sorrow. In that heartbreaking footage, she can be seen engaging in a simple act of unwrapping a fortune cookie, looking happy and content. That moment will be forever etched in our memories. Coco Lee's sisters also said that although Coco sought professional help, she did her best to fight depression. Sadly, the demon inside of her took the better of her. Even though Coco Lee diligently sought professional help, it remains extremely disheartening that on the fateful day of July 2nd, she reached a point where she attempted to take her own life and subsequently slipped into an incapacitating coma. How bad were her troubles? How much was she hurt? that nothing seemed to help and taking her own life seemed easier. Coco Lee was reportedly dealing with a number of health issues in recent years and a strained relationship with her husband, Canadian businessman Bruce Rockowitz. She had been recovering from major surgery to correct a birth defect that had plagued her for years. She talked about having to relearn how to walk after undergoing surgery and that she had grappled with life-changing hurdles in her first social media post before her death. In her last Instagram post, she described life as unbearable sometimes. Love and faith, my two favorite words that I carry strongly in my heart, which I desperately needed to get through this incredibly difficult year, she wrote in the caption. How do I see it? Uh, I have to say I was very blessed to have the opportunity that I was given, uh, you know. Lee had been out of the eye of the public for a while now, and her fans were really worried about her. In a separate audio message posted on Sunday by the verified Weibo account, China Wen Fan League, Coco told her fans that they were her pillar of strength and that she was working very hard, just mere hours later. According to Coco's sister's statement, on July 2nd, she committed at home and was sent to the hospital. Despite the best efforts of the hospital team to rescue and treat her from her coma, she finally passed away on July 5th. The news of Coco Lee's passing deeply saddened countless individuals worldwide 
as she took her last breath within the walls of Queen Mary Hospital in Hong Kong, where she had been admitted following her descent into a coma. When she passed away, an overwhelming wave of sorrow took over the news coverage on a monumental scale all around the world. In the wake of her untimely demise, the digital world became a sanctuary for collective mourning, with one hashtag in particular getting an astonishing 200 million reads on China's Weibo, a platform similar to Twitter. One devoted Chinese fan wrote, We'll miss you forever, miss your beautiful singing, your hearty laugh, and your pretty smile, and we all share the same feelings. Had Coco still been with us, 2023 would have marked the remarkable 30th anniversary of her career. Career. We might have even gotten to hear another one of her soulful songs. This milestone would have further elevated her status as a cherished representative of the Asian community. Coco's family is grateful and honored to have known her, and so are we. Even though she was so busy with her music career, Coco Lee had always maintained loving relations with her family. She never forgot her roots, and that deserves some major respect. Her kindness, her smile, and the happiness she radiated was one of a kind. We hope she's gone to a happier place and no longer suffers from depression or any other pain. We hope she resides in a realm of eternal peace. Coco Lee's sisters also asked the fans and the media to respect their privacy in this time of hardship and made it clear that they want to focus fully on their grieving old mother and cater to her every need. And this makes complete sense. Losing a child is never easy for any parent. We hope her mother can get past this grief-stricken incident and find so solace and comfort in a world without her daughter. News like this is neither easy to receive nor share with anyone. The world seems a bit duller and nothing feels quite right. It's a sad fact, but depression and other mental illness take so many lives every day. It's about time we break the taboo and talk about these difficult topics so that people can get all the help they need and deserve without feeling judged or embarrassed. Gone but never forgotten, Coco Lee will forever reside in our hearts.